Hey there, fellow travelers. Mark here with Walter's World. Today we're in New Orleans, Louisiana, answering one of your questions. That is, how do I use the streetcars when I come here to New Orleans? And you'll see these historic streetcars throughout the city, and they can actually help you as a tourist. But the thing is, I know some people get worried. How do I buy the tickets? What do I need to know? Are they really helpful? Well, those streetcars here in New Orleans, they really are quite helpful, okay? Now, first things first, you probably want to know is, Mark, how, how do I get my tickets? Well, here's one of the big kind of annoying things with the uh, with the streetcars here is you can buy your tickets in the in the streetcar, but you have to have exact change. I mean, who carries a dollar and quarters around? Very few people. So what I'm going to tell you is make sure you go and you download the RTA Go Online app. What's great about this, you can buy your tickets on your app and you can just boom, use it there, right there. It's got maps, it's got the destinations, it tells you how much it's due. It says, look, your streetcar just went by. It tells me these things. And that's what's so great about the app, it can really help you out because, I mean, honestly, who carries exact change around? Now, when you're looking to get tickets, there's different kind of tickets you can get, and you can get these tickets on the on the tram with exact change or on the app and other places as well. But you have a one-time ticket, you know, for a dollar twenty-five. At least right now it's a dollar twenty-five. Um, you also have day passes. They're called the Jazzy Pass. Hey, so you get a one-day Jazzy Pass or a three-day Jazzy Pass. Since I, I, I'm here for a few days, I got the multiple-day Jazzy Pass, uh, so I can just hop on, hop off anytime I want. So that's really nice. Um, the trams go, or sorry, the streetcars go about every ten minutes. So that's kind of a helpful thing out there too. So they go quite often. All right. Now there's there's a few lines that you might. Might use when you are here now the line that's behind me I'm here at the Audubon Park okay so universities behind me uh, Tulane University is behind me you have that the st. Charles line that's the one you'll take to go to the Garden District okay you'll get off at the st. Charles and Washington stop and you'll get off and you'll go uh, walk in the Garden District there so there's a Lafayette Cemetery some really beautiful homes to see and you can see that very easy to do if you're going to be coming in on a cruise ship and you want to grab one and maybe or you're going anywhere you want to go to one it'll take you to jackson square that's the riverfront line the streetcar that'll take you there if you want to go out to the cemeteries or the city park that's the canal street line okay so you'll have that all right so those can help you now and you'll notice sometimes they come more than less than 10 minutes apart because sometimes they get stuck because people park in the way and stuff like that so that's why i like the app because it really does tell you when it's going to come now when you're inside there when you get in you pay the guy when you walk in or the lady and then or you show your your app and you just buzz yourself in so like half the time i've been on here the buzzer didn't work so i just had to show the person the app and they're like yeah that's fine so you sit down when you want it to stop what's cool is that they have like little screens inside so it says what the next stops are they do not stop at every stop so you have to pay attention to make sure where you want to get off and you pull the line okay you pull the little cord and it says they're, they're going to stop at the next stop which is really easy you get there now you can exit from the front or the back of the the streetcar i will tell you though if you're going to exit out the back of the streetcar you have to push really hard on that door to get the door to open and push down the step that's going to be there so honestly unless you're like pretty strong i recommend going out the front door um, just because it, it can be a bit bit tough also when you're stepping out of the streetcar don't just jump out make sure you're looking left and right before you step out in case other people are going by or bikes or stuff like that because you want to be careful because you know the streetcar is in the street there all right so having a heads up for that one so streetcars pretty simple to do the most complicated thing is downloading the app and getting your tickets that's it um, what's cool though if you get like the Jazzy Pass or something like that, those tickets also work on the buses around town. So you can take the public buses around town too. So that can be very helpful. So you're kind of taken care of, all right? So I hope that helps you feel a bit better about taking the uh, streetcars when you're here in New Orleans. They're a fun thing to do when you are here. It's definitely one of the things you should do when you're here uh, because you get to see all kinds of beautiful parts of this beautiful city. And it's really nice because you just kind of go by and I, you'll probably see, I've shown you probably a bunch of video just driving by and seeing the beautiful homes on the way so i hope that helps you know more if you want to learn more about visiting new orleans maybe five things you love and hate about coming into new orleans or the don'ts of new orleans or things that'll shock you about new orleans or the don'ts of going to mardi gras or ways to get arrested at mardi gras check us out on our website at waltersworld.com we're also on twitter facebook instagram youtube and we really appreciate your likes subscriptions and if you do click that subscribe button we put out new travel videos every wednesday and saturday and we want to say a special shout out to our patrons on patreon for making videos like this possible so i want to say thank you and have a great time here in new orleans and don't forget to grab your streetcar
Bye. Oh, and also, you see the little sign up there? There's a little yellow thing there. When you see that, it'll have a number, so it'll tell you which stop it is. So if you're not sure where you are, you can look on there and find it too. So I'll say bye for New Orleans and go grab your streetcar. Bye. Okay, well, I, I guess I won't grab that one since I'm too late, but obviously they come quite often. <laughs> bye.